In today's Roblox U tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make a tutorial GUI that when you press the next button, it will go through all of the pages and eventually bring you back to the first one. You can also press the previous button to go back through some pages. Our first step to making this tutorial GUI is by creating a frame. Let's do that. Here we go. The first bit is done, and if you're having troubles getting your frame to show, make sure that you have a screen GUI element inserted first inside a star GUI. Our next step is going to be to add in some buttons, an exit button, a next button, and a previous button. Let's do that. All the buttons are now in place. We have our next, previous, and our exit button. Now we just have to insert a scrolling frame. If you don't know what a scrolling frame is, just press this button and search for a scrolling frame. When you have put in your scrolling frame, we are going to have to change up a few settings in it. Inside of here, let's turn our background transparency to 1, then let's go down into the scrolling tab. We can easily filter properties by pressing Ctrl, Shift, and P, or simply pressing this up here. And let's look for scroll, scrolling, here we go. And let's set our scroll bar transparency to be 1, and enter. Now that a scrolling frame is transparent, what we can do is click on it inside of our screen GUI and press this plus button and insert a UI page layout just right here. Let's insert this and then in the properties tab, let's go ahead and make sure that you cannot use this. And let's also turn our tweeting time to set to zero, which will automatically be set to 0.01. .01. Up at the top where it says appearance, what you're going to do is make sure it's animated is turned off and circular is turned on. If you want your tutorial to stop at the last page, press on your UI page layout and simply turn off circular. This will stop it from going past last page. The last step to creating your GUI is by going to the asset manager and importing your images that you're going to use. I already have my images, so I'm just going to copy and paste these into our scrolling frame, just like that. Now it is time to code our GUI. Inside of your next button, click on this icon and we're going to add in a local script. We can rename this to change page. There we go. And let's start off with typing local um, UI page is equal to script dot parent dot parent dot scrolling frame dot UI page layout. Then we can press, we can drop a few lines and simply type in script dot parent dot mouse by one click colon connect function and then we can type in those two brackets press enter and inside of here we go ui page colon next let's copy this and paste it into our previous the only difference we have to do here is we have to type in previous right here and there we go if you've done everything correctly it should work there we go let's test it out and there you have it, your tutorial GUI all completed and ready to go. Click this video on the screen right now if you want to know how to make your own backpack system in your Roblox game. Or subscribe to the channel on the left.